Hey everyone, well first things first, GPS is off um, on this update. Our map data is still old. Um, we'll see how it recovers, because it, it seemed to recover quicker. Uh, we'll see, sometimes it does go off still. We're gonna have to be very careful on this. Uh, if it if the GPS jumps off. Like right now it's currently on, but it could jump off. That has happened before. Um, yeah, we're gonna see how it does. We're just gonna let it go to the speed limit. The speed limit is 45 mile an hour on this road, uh, regardless of what the map data shows. Uh, we actually passed the 45 mile an hour speed limit sign on the left over there. Uh, there's just not one on the right until you get way up the road. Which is odd, because it says reduce, I never noticed this reduce speed, speed ahead sign which could indicate this road is actually faster than 45 mile an hour I don't believe it is I believe it's a 45 um, right here but um, that's interesting I've never, never really noticed it it's 45 all the way through to Saluda so I'm not sure what's going on uh, with that sign uh, let's see how it does get on the highway it's coming in too fast Besides almost breaking there, that was actually a, a good alignment. That was my mistake. Um, that was not. So that was a disengagement. It, it keeps on going far too, far too much to the right, um, coming in right here. And so I think we're going to get a disengagement every time until then. We we've done this drive multiple times with zero disengagements. What is? Did it reset again? Oh, I forgot to turn on that. Um, well, uh, we'll get that turned on after this drive, everyone. Um, but uh, it looks like I didn't have automatic lane change enabled. to get off the highway everyone um, we'll see how it slows down I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down because it should be slowing down at this point be back to the speed limit and then it's going yeah going down to 60 here yeah this is this is a moment it needs to turn on its blinker oh okay that wasn't a disengagement <laughs> I forgot I have um, automatic lane changes it, it disabled it after the update um, so I have to re-enable it I don't know what that was for. But yeah, it disabled it after the update. It shouldn't matter though for surface streets. But that's, oh, come on. <laughs> that was gonna say that was improved. With some wood, come on. <laughs> um, no, seriously, it was like, that's what it needs to do. It immediately turn on the blinker and get over, but it didn't. That's improved. Oh, I wonder if they finally did that. It finally responded quicker. We'll find out up ahead if it's gonna respond quicker to slowing down. That's gonna be a very, very useful thing. It's supposed to be improved with cars cutting out like that. It didn't break at all, which is exactly what it should be doing. I have a feeling that a weather like today is gonna give us a, an advantage because there's no shadows. It's, it's light outside so you can see everything and there's no harsh shadows. So we're gonna have best case scenario today to have good drives. Obviously going on the on-ramp had an issue, but uh, until they slow it down, maybe I'll let it try it one time, um, but until they slow it down, I think it's gonna have an issue each time. It should start slowing down about now. Which I guess it is, you can see the region starting to build. I don't think that comes out too well in the video. Uh, but that worked out very well. Let's 
see how it speeds up here. It's 35, then we're at 45, speeding up. I'm actually gonna up it to 50. It's turning the yellow. I really should have seen that light sooner, to be honest. We got ourselves a Mach E on the left, right there. I think that's the first one I've ever seen in Hendersonville. So here's going to be our test. Fortunately, we have a car in front of us. Um, well, we just actually slow it down ourselves. So it's, it's still not slowing down quick enough. The speed limit is 20 right here. The only reason it's slowing down is because of the car in front of us. It's taking an oddly wide turn right here. But much more confident than previous updates. should go ahead and get over in the left lane. What it does is it waits until we're past this light and then gets over in the left lane. Which I suppose is acceptable. Uh, it's still trying to slow for those blinking yellows and I don't know why. Go ahead and get through this light. I always like to speed up to the speed limit through this intersection here. Uh, see right here is what turns on the blinker and there's a car behind us. It's just not a great spot in my opinion to um, to change lanes. Yeah, this car, this car didn't like that my car cut them off, so they're passing me now on my left. I'm oh, sorry, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, okay, we got a blinker. Here's our critical test. So I did this on 10.5 yesterday. I didn't record it, but it did it great. It had a lead car though. That was the biggest difference is that it had a lead car. It should not go here. And probably should wait for that truck. Uh, we'll make it go. I'm having to tap it, tap it. There you go. That did it right. That's exactly what it should do. It could be a tiny bit more left if I really had to be critical on it. But that was good. That was, that was exactly what I want to see. Hopefully it does that every single time. I'm going to make a quick pit stop right here. And we'll be back on the road. Okay, we're back at it, everyone. This is gonna be the last section of this drive. I'm driving to my parents this morning. I'm gonna go knock out this video, get it uploaded so you guys can see it first thing. Um, overall, I am happier with this than 10.6 so far. We are, we do still have a few, um, uh, I guess, left turn lanes we have to pass without getting into before I really make judgment, but that major intersection that we just went through is the key test for this route. If it can make it through that, and it did, I needed a little bit of help because there was a car coming. I didn't want it to just sit in the middle of the intersection, but um, it, it did do it better on this update. That's what matters. Now, it could be because there's no sun. Maybe it is, these overcast conditions uh, work best. Uh, I did enable... Uh, automatic lane change on highways so once we get back on the highway later we'll do that this is new behavior it was it stopped early and it was creeping towards its car while the light was red i have never seen that before and we'll have to see if that does that again and we'll see if maybe it tries to go in any of these turn lanes next one is the one that usually messes up first Nope, that was a disengagement. It straight up was going in the turn lane, unfortunately. We'll see if it does it on the next one. So it does it on that one, it does it on this one coming up here, and it does it on the one right before we get to our turn. And that's just because there's no there's no lane, lane lines at all. It's like it goes halfway in and kind of sweeps back out because it can see the line right here. It, it still does rely too heavily on lane lines to make its decisions as if there's poor lane lines it just can't it just doesn't work well I do wish uh, 
we were that car, so we could see this guy walking across the road uh, and see how the car reacted to him. But, um, different place in time. So, so far this drive had two disengagements, and the first one is just because it accelerates too quickly getting on the highway. This, this one is because it can't, it can't interpret where to be in the road with no lane lines. Honestly, it should just default to, like, right here. Um, it should just default to staying on the right side of the road if it doesn't see lane lines. More often than not, that's what's go gonna be needed. It needs to stay on the right side of the road if there's no lane lines. And so I don't understand why they can't just program that logic in. Or, like, do some training set or something uh, with the neural nets, like, hey, no lane lines on road, stay on right side of road. Unless we're in a turn lane, in which case, way too hard of a break. <laughs> um, good turn, but way too hard of a break. Um, that's gonna be the end of this drive, but um, yeah, I lost my train of thought because of that break. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, it, it was, I, I like this drive better because of that turn than 10.6, sorry, 10.5. So it's better again than 10.5. The real test is going to be once I go out to Asheville, how much better is it going to be then? And how much better is it going to be? Our next video is going to be Target. Uh, and I'm going to come back down the mountain here. These lane lines right here are just garbage. Uh, you can't, can't even see it right up here. And, um, and perhaps uh, it will see the lane lines better and do that. So. As a bonus test, let's see how it does this turn and see if this has been improved. That has been improved. It's less robotic-y, but it needs to turn sooner over the yellow lines. If you have any questions for me, everyone, uh, put them in the comments down below. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you keeping up with me. And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.